I never thought I'd be running for my life from someone dressed like a cheap Vader. But here I am, heart racing, trying to put as much distance between us as possible. I dash through what I thought was an abandoned building. It was supposed to be. My footsteps echoing through the empty corridors. I head up flights of stairs, hoping to lose cheap Vader in the maze of hallways and rooms. Each turn fills me with dread, unsure of what lies around the next corner. I know what you must be thinking. Why head up the stairs? You never go upstairs. It traps you. It's the first thing you think while watching a slasher movie. The woman always runs upstairs and traps herself. The thing is, there is a tactical advantage that puts distance between you and the person chasing you. A chase is simple. It all comes down to the persistence of the hunter. Stairs can be exhausting. I also don't know if this cheap Vader has any weapons. Stairs cause a break in the eye of sight for protection. The break of eyesight can also cause the hunter's persistence to go down. You can't chase what you can't see. I plan on becoming unseen. Also, and more importantly, I'm not done here yet. I've only begun my investigation. This place still holds secrets. I want to know them all. Suddenly, I stumble upon a small broom closet that's been turned into a makeshift office. Papers are strewn across a cluttered desk, and blueprints of drones and what looks like a lantern adorn the walls. Without wasting a second, I pull out my phone and start snapping pictures. These could be valuable. Then I notice a notebook filled with cryptic notes and diagrams. It might just help me sort out this mess. I hastily pocket the notebook and make a mental note to examine it later. But right now, I need to focus on getting out of here. As I hurriedly leave the small office, I can hear the cheap Vader's menacing footsteps drawing closer. I know I have to stay one step ahead, with my heart pounding in my chest, I push myself to go faster, desperately trying to escape the clutches of cheap Vader. I go up another floor and duck into the next room. I find. I quickly scan the area for any possible escape routes, but my breath caught in my throat as I saw something horrifying lying in the corner. Panic surged through me as all I could do was stare at what I found, and I knew that I had to find a way out of this nightmare.